Hello everyone, this is Kate Barnes with Scholarly Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Facebook business page so that you can start running the new paid ads through KW Command. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in uh, to Command by going to agent.kw.com. Once we're on the home screen, you're going to sign in using your MyKW username and password and you're going to go ahead and hit sign in. Now the new paid, ad, paid ads were just released today, so you should see that as an update in here. Paid ad experience is here. Um, with that being said, you do need to connect your Facebook page. Um, if you were already previously connected for paid ads within your command settings, you will still need to reconnect your Facebook business page to get started with the new paid ads. Um, so once we're logged into command, we're gonna head over to the campaigns applet. Once we are there and that has loaded, you're going to see that alert again. You can click learn more um, to find out, you know, additional information. It looks a little bit different here. Nothing too crazy though. Um, paid ads is also going to look a little bit different when you click there. Um, if you had previously run ads, they're still going to be displayed down lower. So you can still find those. Um, but it's changed just a little bit. Um, also, if you were to hit create campaign up here, this does look a little bit different as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do though, is we wanna go ahead and get our business page connected to Facebook or to command so that we can start running those ads. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click back to dashboard and just gonna click paid ad quick start. Once I'm there, you're going to notice that it's no longer staying in command. It's taking you to another uh, window, which is a new platform. So it's a new third-party platform that's going to be running those ads. Um, once we're here, though, we're going to head to Facebook Pages. And once you're there, you're going to see that it says Add a New Facebook Page, Start Here, Continue with Facebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click that Continue with Facebook so that we can get connected. Um, it's already, I'm already logged in, so it's already got my information pulled up. It's asking me if I want to reconnect. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Um, it's been connected. Say got it. The next thing I'm going to do is it's going to show my available pages that I have to uh, link to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this old one that I had on my Facebook, um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit select. It's going to go ahead and link that page. Um, please keep in mind that you do have to be an admin of the page that you're trying to link to in order for that connection to work. Um, it says, congratulations, connectivity with your page is all set up and working properly. Um, I had already previously done this this morning, so I had already accepted the Facebook lead form terms of service. So just know that if you hadn't already done that, it is going to have you go ahead and accept those. Um, once I'm all done though, I'm gonna be linked. Everything's green, it's got a check mark. If I decide that I linked the wrong page, I can go ahead and hit unlink and it will remove that. Um, I can also add an additional page if I need to. So say I have two different business pages that I'm running real estate related, I can go ahead and link that page here as well. Um, so super easy, kind of walks you through it. Um, so that is our tip video today. Uh, if you have any questions or if there are any tip videos you'd like to see, feel free to reach out to us at support at scholarrymarketing.com and we'd be happy to help. Have a great day.